You guys are much more important than a phone call. <laughs> I'm just going to... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do something a little bit special and it's going to include biome, this little guy right here. As many of you know, this little guy is a part of my 200 subscribers giveaway. <laughs> Um, so I decided to do a couple makeup looks um, using this palette and here's one that I decided to share with you guys. This little palette is so, so versatile. It's gorgeous. It's got wonderful shimmer shades and I can't wait to use it. And I can't wait for you guys to see just how versatile it actually is. So if you'd like to know a little bit about the um, giveaway, uh, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel. Um, make sure that your subscriptions are set to public so I can see you being subscribed to me. And once I hit my 200 subscribers, I'm going to randomly choose somebody who is subscribed to my channel and they're going to win a wonderful little surprise, including this little guy and a few other goodies. <laughs> so go ahead, subscribe to my channel, follow me on my socials, which are going to be all around the screen somewhere and also linked down below. So without any further ado, let's get in to the makeup look. Alrighty, so I have put my primer, my foundation, my bronzer, my blush. I have also concealed under my eyebrows and also used concealer as my eye primer so the colors are going to pop and as I said in the intro I'm going to be creating a look out of the tardiest pro to go palette which looks something like this okay so since that I used um, concealer as my eye primer um, I'm just going to set my lids with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Take a larger fluffy brush, just brush any excess away. So the first shade I am going to use is going to be this shade right here. It's Drive. This is going to be my transition color. So I also used the same color and focused it more directly into my crease just to deepen it up. Um, and I actually like how it turned out. Um, is it just me or do I need to get a like a new concealer? I guess it's time for me to go back to Sephora and get color matched for a concealer. This seems too light. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you think I should or if you like the exaggerated highlighted brows. <laughs> okay, so moving on with the look. I'm going to take crisp it's a nice kind of burnt orange neutral color and I'm gonna focus that into my crease and onto the corner of 
my eye. And then I'm going to take Stylin and I'm going to focus that on my lid and also deepen up just the outer V of my lid and use that only a quarter in on my lid. Just going to ever so slightly just deepen up that outer crease just a bit. Then I'm going to take this shimmer shade Boss right here and I'm going to cover the rest of my lid with that just be until just before the very very inner corner and I have something special planned for that. <laughs> so just to make boss pop I am going to take my mist and fix spray my brush just once and then gently dip into that shimmer shade and put it on my lid. I'm using padding motions to get that color on my lid. Just my preference, I find that it pops more when you just press it onto your lid. This shimmer shade is gorgeous. Like it changes color with every angle. It's so nice. Like at one angle, it's like a nice soft brown nude. But then at another angle, it's got like this reddish orangey tint to it. Oh, so gorgeous. I'm just going to darken up styling on the on the outer corner of my eye. Alrighty, so once you have that shimmer shade down, I am going to take Hype and use that as my inner corner highlight, but I'm going to take that and put it on just on the corner of my lid just to give it like a super pizzazz of inner corner highlight and again I'm going to wet my brush and I'm going to take Hype which is this very light shimmer shade it's kind of got a golden tinge to it it's very pretty I'm gonna put that on my lid oh yes oh that's beautiful Wow, that is gorgeous. So now for the, the, la the lower lash line, I'm gonna take Drive and smoke it under the entire lash line. Then I'm going to go with Crisp and be a little light-handed Then, just for depth, I'm going to take styling on a very skinny detail brush, just on the tip, and deepen up the outer portion of the lower lash line. Then take a small, small blending brush. Beautiful. 
I am actually loving this look. And there is a ton of different looks you can make with just this palette. You don't have to go fancy and go crazy. You can make gorgeous like natural nude looks. You can make full glam looks from this little tiny palette here. Amazing. <laughs> okay, so I say the look, the eye look is pretty much done. So now it, I'm just going to quickly do my liner and my lashes, put some highlight on, and I will see you in a second. <laughs> so quickly, I actually just wanted to share a little makeup secret of mine. So if you are, um, uh, if you have textured skin, meaning you have pores, like big pores, um, chicken pox scars, acne scarring, anything like that, you, um, you're probably like me. Um, and what I mean is I love the look of dewy foundation, you know, that kind of thing, but I cannot get away. Well, at least I don't think I can get away with wearing um, like a dewy finish, complete foundation. Um, I need the matte because it makes me feel more comfortable having the matte look because it conceals all of my pores and I do have some chicken pox scarring on my cheeks here and a, a couple over here. So what I do in to still get the dewy kind of look but without having to feel self-conscious or anything like that about my textured skin I will take my Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. Now you don't need to have the Tatcha because it is quite expensive. I can't even believe that I bought it. But any type of Dewy Skin Mist, instead of... Sorry, my camera just died there. <laughs> um, I don't exactly remember where I was. Um, Oh, dewy skin mist. So you don't necessarily need the Tatcha one because it's expensive. So any dewy skin mist, what I do instead of spraying my whole face, I take a beauty blender. Sorry, mine's a little bit dirty. And I just spray the beauty blender very close up a few times. And then I go on the places where I would like that natural dewy look, like my nose here. And I just pat it on my nose, on my chin, and you see how it gives you that natural dewy look? I'll do a, just a little bit on my upper forehead, and I find by applying it with this method, it actually does not highlight your pores or any of your texture, and it, you can still have that natural dewy look. I just, I had to share that with you guys. I've been using this secret for so long and I figured, hey, why not share it with you guys? So definitely give it a try. You can get dewy skin mists at Sephora um, that are definitely more inexpensive than the Tatcha. I think I paid $70 for this. Yeah, not very smart. <laughs> So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know, and of course, um, if you don't want that blinding, blinding, blinding highlight, you can also use this and just give yourself a couple dabs right on your cheekbone. And do you see that? That's gorgeous. Totally natural. You don't have an insane amount of highlight on. Um, you can even diffuse it a bit by just keeping, just continuing to pat it doesn't mess up your makeup and you look like a dewy goddess <laughs> and this is the final look um, super super versatile like this palette I know it's tiny but
don't disrespect, okay? This palette here is so versatile. I love it. Um, and like I said, if you guys want me to create a couple more looks from this palette before my giveaway is actually, you know, before my giveaway happens, let me know in the comments because I am more than happy to keep you guys happy. <laughs> Oh, I'll give you a close-up. Well, I hope you enjoyed this makeup look using the Pro To Go Mini Tarte Palette. Until next time, guys. Mwah. Bye!